I go by the names Jamisha and Jay, and I'm a black lesbian who will be sleeping in this yurt. That is nestled on top of this pond, which is home to wildlife, plants, and has witnessed my delicious cooking. I truly enjoyed my stay here and I hope you all will appreciate this video. It was so much fun to create. Be sure to like and subscribe for more. I am currently in a yurt and I'm stuck <laughs> with no service and I gotta pee like shit and there's no bucket in here. <gasps> No one has walked by. I mean, I'm in the fucking countryside. There's like, I'll figure something out. This can be a learning experience. And honestly, I'm just here for the ride. This is what I need to experience in this moment. I don't know what it's teaching me, but this is what I need to experience. And I'm gonna embrace it. <laughs> Someone was in a good mood. Can you guess who? So I'm currently in a yurt. I met this witch, Opayami. She's a nice older woman and she is black and a storyteller and she's very poetic. And we instantly hit it off because after the whole experience in the morning, that whole experience that I had at that campsite was insane. Let me show you guys around the yurt while I'm here. After the scary spiritual experience I had while camping the other night, that video is linked in the description box. I met up with Opa Yemi and she gave me a cleanse and a tarot reading and I expressed that I was nervous to sleep in nature and was leaning towards getting a hotel or hostel and she offered this space to me for free to help me overcome that fear and I bless her heart so much because I was a stranger to her and she just offered her space to me and I am so very thankful for her and that connection I built. If you're into glamour, this isn't the yurt for you. This isn't like one of your fancy yurts. It's like a yurt, like a build it yourself yurt. And you can tell by the inside, like the wood on the walls and how the bugs, like the ants, they seep through. Like this is a very earthy yurt and I'm a very earthy person, so I don't mind at all. Tonight I'll be sleeping in this yurt behind me. I really want to set up this hammock and sleep in the hammock before, I leave this space so I think tomorrow what I'm gonna do is explore and find a spot to sleep <laughs> like find a spot to nest um, and the hammock and probably film that separately for a different video I think that would be really cool I only have this one life to live that's been my model recently like you only have one life to live why not do what you want to do for real like you want to sleep in a fucking yurt sleep in a yurt <laughs> like I think right now I'm just feeling blessed like extremely blessed to live this life and that I am a very free spirited go with the flow I move with the wind type of person and I'm so blessed that I don't allow fear to consume me and I have been working on detachment and I have been doing the, the shadow work that's been holding me back and accepting those parts of myself that I've always like you know looked away from and <sighs> I'm just happy <laughs> so I think right now what I'm just gonna do is make myself some food and just enjoy the rest of the night for real
so it's currently 9.53 and I am inside of the yurt and I feel a little anxious because of what happened last night but I keep telling myself that I'm gonna have to sleep outside you know to get past the nerves and I keep saying affirmations and basically praying because I'm just anxious like last night was very scary for me very emotional and yeah I'm a little shook and a little, a little shook but I gotta push through I have to because I don't want to ever get to a point where I'm afraid to be outside in nature and camping so tonight's just gonna have to be rough and I'm just gonna do things that make me happy like read and write and other stuff and yeah yeah <laughs> I slept really good in here and I didn't have a nightmare. I'm really happy about that. <laughs> so happy. Yeah, I'm about to get up and start my day. Maybe make some oatmeal or something and find a spot for the hammock and read and make some jewelry or something. But yeah, I'm feeling good today. I'm so happy I didn't have any nightmares. So, so happy. So I'm currently in the yurt and it's 8.28 and I'm a little tired. I haven't cooked dinner yet. Pretty sure I'm eating noodles with chicken and salad. <laughs> That's going to be my dinner tonight. I don't think I'm going to film myself cooking. Um, I think there's a... There's some type of bug in here, but whatever. I just... I was talking to Destiny today, and I was telling her how I just feel happy. Like, just happy. <laughs> To be here in this space and to find some peace you know just to be surrounded by nature and just happy but yeah i'm going to make some jewelry i want to make opayemi a necklace to thank her for letting me stay in her yurt for four nights actually i'm going to be here for four nights and then i'm leaving on monday and I don't know where I'm going yet, but I didn't know I was coming here until the day of pretty much going with the flow for real. Um, but yeah, I just feel so blessed. <laughs> so, so blessed.
So these are the beads that I used to create Ophiemi's bracelet. I know I said necklace, but I didn't have enough to create a necklace, so I opted in creating a bracelet. And this is the time that I'm shamelessly going to plug in my website, jamishamonskew.com. This is where I post my blog posts, and this is also where I'll be launching my jewelry business that is going to come out in the next few weeks. So if you want to stay up to date with my life besides YouTube and social media, you can go to my website and subscribe and you'll get emails whenever I post a blog post and when I launch my jewelry. This is how the, the bracelet turned out and I really loved it. I honestly want to keep it for myself. <laughs> and these are some of the pendants that I make. They're vagina themed. I love the female body and most of my art is about the female body. Today is currently my last day in the yurt and I'm leaving in about an hour or two to go to my next destination and it's kind of bittersweet because I've really enjoyed my stay here at the yurt and I'm gonna miss hearing the well life at night but you know it's time for something new and I'm currently making oatmeal before I leave because I don't want to buy any food out even though I'm gonna have to stop at Walmart and then after I cook I'm gonna pack up my car I already started packing last night so all I have to do is just bring the small amount of things that are in here and I'm gonna shower wash my hair and hit the road and I'm gonna head to Massachusetts and I'm gonna stay there for two nights and then I'll be back in Jersey the next the third night I'll be back in Jersey but yeah I'm just gonna continue cooking